All right, let's go to tight end. Top five. Uh, Travis Kelsey, Dallas Goddard, TJ Hawkinson, and my boy Greg Dulcich, uh, tight end four, and Taysom Hill. What a grab bag of Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, I have – I mean, I think mine is a little more conventional. I have Kelsey Goddard, <laughs> Kittle, Ertz, Hawkinson. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, <laughs> who you high on? Uh, so I'm high on Greg Dulcich. I alternate every week with Hayden Hurst and Greg Dulcich. But, yeah, I, he's done nothing to disprove my theory that he has top five upside. Um, so, you know, we, we've seen his receiving yards go up in each of his three games. <sighs> Uh, and he's a rookie coming off a bye. Uh, we've been banging the drum on that. So I think, uh, you know, the sky's the limit with him. Um, his underlying usage has been phenomenal. Um, so, yeah, like he is way up there for me. And he's uh, my tight end for this week. Yeah, love me some Dulcich. Uh, you know, he's he's playing well and they're giving him they're giving him work and he's coming out of the bye. So another, another one of those rookies coming out of the bye. Yep. Uh, 91% route run last week, uh, last game. Uh, for me, I'll go Kyle Pitts. Uh, you know, slippery slope with him, but <laughs> <laughs> against the Panthers in the first matchup, he saw a season high nine targets, which you always love to see. He put up five catches for 80 and a touch. So, um, you know, I think this is a matchup where you look at the Panthers and you know, they do have some some cornerbacks that play well. And I think that's why London had a tough game in the first matchup. And, you know, it's a short week. I don't know how much you really changed from that first meeting. So uh, give me some Kyle Pitts this week. Uh, he's only the tight end nine, I think, in consensus. Mm. Tight end eight. Uh, I have him a couple spots higher than that. So, uh, like some Kyle Pitts this week. Who you low on? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm low on George Kittle. Uh, he's my tight end nine. Whoa. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know what happened there, but um, you know, I have Debo and Jennings returning this week. Uh, again, a, a pass catching back like Christian McCaffrey is going to eat into everybody's target share. Uh, so this is a really crowded wide receiver and tight end room. Uh, for targets now so and like i hinted earlier the 49ers might not have to throw that much against the chargers they're seven point favorites it's a run funnel matchup um so yeah that, i'm i'm pretty low on jimmy g as well i have him throwing for 235 yards maybe that's where we differ uh but just the way the distribution works uh kittle's not getting that much love in my model so that's why he's down to tight end nine this week yeah, I mean, I, it's just, just not a lot of guys. I mean, I don't, I'm not particularly high on them, but yeah, it's, it's a weird week uh, for tight ends. But uh, a guy I am low on for me, it's Dalton Schultz. You know, I know he had the buy to kind of heal up, but Green Bay is actually allowing the uh, fewest schedule adjusted receiving yards per game to tight ends at 27.7 according to football outsiders and Schultz, you know, we, the other two tight ends behind him, Hendershot and Ferguson have been playing well. So they might continue to kind of, you know, p- work those guys in Schultz has been in the in the sixties in terms of route uh, participation. So I don't know if that necessarily goes up even coming off the bye. I know he's been kind of banged up, but mm-hmm. uh, tough matchup nonetheless uh, against the Packers. It's like the, one of the things on defense they've actually been pretty good at is limiting the production for, for opposing tight end. So, uh, yeah, uh, don't show to me. What's his ECR right now? Tight end 12. Oh, and you have him where? Like 15. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm tight end 12. Like like you said, this is kind of a weird week from like yeah. tight end 5 to it looks like 14. It's separated by like 0. 0.7 points. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to see a lot of movement there. But I, I do like that call, especially since you know, the Cowboys should lead this game uh, pretty early. I, I don't know if the Packers are going to put up much of a fight. So we, we might not see Schultz that much. I do like him rest of season. His he should be almost over his PCL injury, I would think, especially after the bye. Uh, but I agree that this is probably not the time to play him. All right, uh, what are we doing for the prop? Uh, so let's go with uh, guys in the tight end two range. I saw th- these guys are kind of popping up in waiver wire articles. But uh, who will have more half PPR points this week, Noah Fant or Cole Komet? Ooh, Cole Komet's in there. So, <laughs> I got he finally got a multi touchdown game, right? I know, uh, right? Now everyone's all over him. Um, but Fant's playing the Bucks and Komet's playing the Lions. Yeah. Um, Fant had a big game too. Both are coming off big games. Yeah, I have to go with Komet here because the thing about Fant is that Cardinal matchup was like that is mm-hmm. the matchup against tight ends. <laughs> they are allowing uh the most schedule adjusted receiving yards in the league two tight ends and they just kept hitting that same play over and over where Gino play actions and Fant just breaks out into the flat on the right side. And he just rumbles for, 
you know, endless yardage. So I think he's going to come back down to earth a little bit. Whereas, you know, Cole Komet has another good matchup against the Lions. They are, they're, you know, the 24th in DVOA and they're allowing the fourth most schedule adjusted yards uh, per game to tight end. So uh, yeah, give me Komet. It, it is ugly, but I think, <laughs> I think Fant was a product of that, that Arizona matchup. Yeah, I agree. And I said that in our waiver article, I just said, don't add these guys. Um, you know, early in the season, you were able to add tight end ones like Hayden Hurst, uh, Gerald Everett, Greg Dulcich, Taysom Hill. Uh, these just aren't those guys that kind of fit that mold. They, they just had a big game based on the situation. And I, I just don't see them having tight end one value going forward. Yeah, absolutely. 